Involved in controversy coming out of the games last night, well, more so the first one, which is the Walker Cup, and that is more than which we can afford in terms of time in this commentary. <laughs> Here's McGraw High, Joel Davis in goal, DJ Morris, David Hutchinson, Demroy Adir, Alric Tapp, Dante Anderson, Devon Davis, Farrell Tucker, Shane Pusey, Isaac Mason, Jamari Fowler, and their technical director is Jermaine Thomas. Yeah, McGrath is normally a well-organized team, very difficult to break down. That's what Froome will come up against today. Time now for the Froome technical starting lineup. Oral Davis in goal. They have a back four of Kishmar Clayton, Jamil Gale, Jamar Grant, and O'Brien Reed. Dwayne Watt, Kemroy Brown, Stevon Spencer, 25 gold man, Ural Lamar, Giovanni Williams, and Wayne Mullings. They finished the lineup, their head coach, Clayton Stevens. Yeah, young Stevens, a good friend of mine. We call him Froome School. That's his title, that's his alias, that's what he goes by. And he's he just believes that these boys are capable of doing it. And they have a lot of goals in building their thing to come up and win a title. Here are the highlights. Froome started well. And they had this attempt through O'Brien Reed. He didn't bring it within the frame. McGraw also had their chances. Taff on that occasion was unable to connect well. And it was really end to end stuff. Stevon Spence, the 25 gold man, shot on sight. But that one was well read. Look at this strike. Playing off the hand onto the crossbar. Oral Davis with a big hand on that occasion. Hutchinson with the kick for McGraw. It was really a thrilling encounter. Here again, a dangerous miss kick. Saw the ball coming to Clayton, who played it to what? And goalkeeper Joel Davis there ensuring that the ball that was going wide certainly went wide. But McGraw would have a moment of joy. Poor clearance. Davis there poking it through. And Anderson with his third of the season on hand. The right place at the right time with the right finish. McGraw in the lead in the Ben Francis Cup knockout final. Dante Anderson beating Oral Davis at his near post. They were sent in delirium. Another shot there went wide. Hutchinson again. This delivery, the flick on header from Lemard was off target. Perhaps the greatest moment apart from the goal came through this passage of play. Lemard bringing it alive, getting it across the header from the captain Grant. Isaac Mason with a spectacular save. A save of the week and he isn't the keeper. Yeah, that's how good it was. McGrath had more moments and it really came through Davis again bringing it back to Jim Mitchell the substitute didn't have uh, the finish in the end Alexi Perry saw enough here are the statistics at the end of the match six on target from 12 attempts from McGrath five on target from 12 as well from Froome 20 fouls in this game the majority of them 14 going to Froome three yellow cards apiece one offside for McGrath, two, two corners apiece. Nine saves, five of them made by Oral Davis in the Froome goal. McGrath had the majority of the possession and the goal, 53% of the possession with the sole goal. And they are the winners. The waterman of the match is standing by. Kimani will tell us who it is. Yeah, thank you, Dean. I'm joined by man of the match, Demrai Adair of McGrath. He'll receive his man of the match award from Chantalee McDonald, the brand manager of Powerade. All right, Mr. Adair, let's have a quick chat. Thank you, Miss McDonald. You're a champion now. How good does this moment feel? Uh, it's a really good feeling, as I can say. Thank you, everybody, for coming and watching us. Um, I cannot explain the feeling right now. 
Yeah, and in terms of your role in the team today, were you given a man-marking assignment today for this game? Yes, he was the man for them. They cannot play without him, so my coach them me stay with him. And in terms of taking on that task as the skipper, did you feel like you had to lead your team in that way to take on an assignment? Yes, like that? because from my coach believing me, I believe in myself so I can do it. All right, you can go and party. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that was the man of the match from McGrath there. I'm joined now by the From technical head coach. Coach, at the end of the day, you only lost 1-0. Fine margins. Speak to me about the game. First, I have to say congratulations to Magra and my boys. I would say that they put up a good fight, but it's just not our days. Yeah. Yeah, and at the end of this one, can you look back on this season and say that it was successful given the deep cup run that you had? I would still would say it's a successful season and we can build on it. And I have to congratulate them again for the fight and coming in the final. But they said what's yours is definitely yours. And this was ours, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. All right, thank you, Coach Stevens. Perfect. Yeah, that was Coach Clayton Stevens of Froome. I'm joined now by the man of the moment, Coach Jermaine Thomas. Coach, you're a champion. You did it. The first in the school's history. How good does this feel? I mean, elated, happy. But let me let me take time out to say, I mean, RIP Gibbs Williams Gibbo would have been a catalyst in my life. He's the reason why I went to college in the first place. One of the one of them big mentors in my life. You know, so I really want to say RIP to him. I wish he was here to, to witness this moment. You know, but we played well. We played well. We've been playing well all season. Uh, we lost 2-0 to Christiana in the um, last game of the round of 16. And from then on, we have not lost a game. And I must commend the, the boys. I must commend the entire school community, the principal, VPs, everybody. All right, when's the party and where is it? I'm not sure. Going back to Linstead. All right, coach. Thank yeah, you. Thanks much. All right. The champion of the Ben Francis Cup. McGraw High. There is rejoicing as they get the the check and the sponsors on hand to share in the moment. Now the trophy presentation of the Ben the trophy. Francis Cup. Limburn Wright. To be delivered by Linvern Wright, along with chairman of the Costa Cup committee for ISA. Will make the presentation. Also, the principal of William Lim High School. Cup to the champions, they hoist the trophy. McGraw High, Ben Francis Cup champions in the year 2023. First time winners for them. A moment of rejoicing for the parish of St. Catherine, for Linstead proper. They take pictures, all smiles, all rejoicing, and the party will go all the way into the night through to Monday morning. General Assembly will be all the better for McGraw High. He runs away with it, Jim Mitchell. He is the vice man you can see. And who can say that they're not loving the trophy? Talk all you want about the Ben Francis Cup and the Walker Cup. When you hoist the trophy, you hoist the trophy. And they love it. Yeah, a trophy is a trophy. And uh, you don't listen to what they say about which one. Yeah, some they will value more. But silverware is silverware for footballers. And the fact that you can go away for someone who is leaving the scene of schoolboy football and to be able to say, I won a trophy, um, it's going to be massive. So congratulations to my grand players and well done to them and all the best that's how we wrap it up here from the national stadium ben francis cup final mcgrath winners one nil over Froome. Yo, Issa. 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 Issa.